Hi, I'm Dr. Benjamin Shadwick, and this is another portion of Ruth's Torah gleanings, where we look at the Torah portions from a Gentile perspective, because that's what Ruth would have done, being a Gentile. She would have thought of the Torah in a Gentile way, and that's what we're trying to do here. This week's portion is Bereshit, or in the beginning. It begins, of course, with the words, in the beginning, God. So in the beginning, God just is. He doesn't have to prove himself. He just is. And we know that God created everything. Just a few moments ago, before we began this session, I went out and plucked this real little beautiful flower that was in actually a very large group of flowers. But this one flower simply grows and does what it's supposed to do, sets there, and glorifies the Lord shows God's glory and this flower got my attention and I reached down and pulled it and look at it and think that God's glory rests upon it everything that God did everything that he's made all that he's created is to show his glory how much more are we to show God's glory when we walk out into the night sky and we look up and we see all the stars some are very bright some not so much and some even less than others. But they all show God's glory. They all have a, a portion of God's light in them until the brightness of the sun comes up and the whole sky becomes brilliant with the sun and the blueness of God's beauty and glory. But the stars are still there. They haven't gone away. They're just covered and covered up, you could say, by the glory of the sun. And how much more is the glory of the Son of God over our lives. And we remember this as we walk through our life. So I hope this week, as you think of the creation that God is and did and how he made your life to glorify him, that you walk through your life, through this week, through this day, glorifying him. May you have a wonderful week in the Lord. God bless you in the mighty name of Yeshua.